Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about some issues that a lot of people are having with uh, the fun software that is Crimson. A lot of people have noticed, including myself, all the time, trying to adjust the fan rate with the software is nearly impossible. As you can see here, trying to adjust it, it automatically resets itself back to auto now I did a video a while back exploring the new crimson software back when it was new back when they got rid of the old user interface and uh, the the one that worked but even then I noticed with the new crimson stuff that it had quite a few issues including that I couldn't adjust anything just like you can see here. So what I did was I downloaded the MSI Afterburner and that allows me to adjust my fan speeds. Now the reasons why I want to adjust my own fan speeds is AMD as well as any other auto fan control I think is junk. Now they build it with, uh, you know, wanting to stay as quiet as possible in mind. But unfortunately that also means that you're getting some pretty high temperatures. I mean, getting up there in the 80s without it hardly adjusting the speed all that much. Now what I did was I did a series of tests. One at my personal setting of 100% fan speed and the auto control by AMD. And I wanted to tell you the differences that it made. Now with Heaven, the first test I did, what I did was I ran two tests, one right after the other, at 100% fan speed, the highest temperature that I got was about 60 degrees. So it's warm, but it's nothing bad at all. I mean, that's nothing for today's video cards. Under auto, it hit a temperature of 78 degrees and only increased the fan speed to 45. I ran two minutes of the MSI uh, GPU burn-in test. At 100% fan speed, it hit temperatures of 71 degrees. Auto, it hit 84 degrees with only a fan speed of achieving 50%. 84 is the danger zone, or getting close to the danger zone. They don't want you getting all that high into the 80s. That's when you start doing some uh, GPU damage at the higher 80s. So 84 is damn near the red line. And it's only pumping out a fan speed of 50%. The next test I did was uh, the Steam VR test. Just a quick little benchmark. Uh, nothing too heavy. But still a test I could easily record the temperature at. The VR test at 100% fan speed hit 54 degrees. We're at auto it hit 67 degrees at only 36 fan speed. Now, personally, computer sound doesn't bother me all that much. The newer fans coming out are achieving higher airflow at half the noise. I used to have a an AMD card that sounded like a leaf blower going off if you said over 50. The new ones are fairly quiet even at the higher speeds. They're better fans, and honestly, even if you were to burn out a fan, which personally I've never really burned out a GPU fan, but even if you did, a fan is a lot cheaper to replace than a video card. As is with most electronics, heat is your number one enemy. And these temperatures of 84 degrees and only doing 50% fan speed, that's crazy because a lot of cards are recording, a lot of cards hit damage around 88 to 90. I've seen people get higher than that. It's not advised. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't like to, I personally do not like to go over 70, 72-ish, which I, I personally don't. MSI does, but MSI, that benchmark is a... Uh, that's a GPU burner. That's for burning in new GPUs or really putting on a stress test. So I hardly ever hit that. I can run Battlefield games and a lot of other games at max settings with you know, hardly ever hitting 70. I usually stay in the 65 to 70 range when playing games heavily. But yeah, 84 degrees with only 50%. Like I said, I understand their thing is we're trying to keep it quiet. 
but I don't, I'd rather have a computer that's a little bit louder than something that could possibly burning out a GPU that could cost, put, you know, 500 to a thousand dollars. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.